San Diego County will remain in the red tier, meaning that businesses can stay open. Now, the decision is based on the state's latest data announced today. But despite being able to remain open, cases are still on the rise. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam is live at the Embarcadero to explain why this was a close call for the county. Jeff. Hi, Maria. Yeah, it was so close that, in fact, initially, the state had given the county a case rate of 7.1 this morning. That was a big deal. That would have put us right in the purple, uh, the purple tier. But the county called the state this morning and said, hold on one second. We think you got the numbers wrong. Check again. A close call from the state health department Tuesday, San Diego County registering a case rate of 7.0. Anything higher in the state secretary of health and human services says the county would have ended up in the purple tier. And we have been in close contact with San Diego in particular over many, many weeks, looking closely at their data, making sure we have it right, making sure they have they're, they're delivering the, the right information to us. Late last week, Supervisor Nathan Fletcher said the county's unadjusted case rate looked to be around 7.8 or 7.8 people out of 100,000 in the county testing positive. But it's up to the state if they want to make a final adjustment on that number. So every state or every county tests so many people. Mm -hmm. And then they take the average number of the tests. And then if you tested above average, you get your cases decreased. And if you tested below average, you get your cases increased. Supervisor Jim Desmond says San Diego County tests more than most counties. To reward us, the state lowers our overall rate a certain percentage. And every Tuesday, the results come in. Initially, it looked like the state had handed the county a rate of 7.1, putting us in the purple. But the county says the state miscalculated. In a statement from the county, they say these calculations are made based on data, and sometimes the data doesn't match up. The state had us at 7.1 adjusted, and we had 7.0 after further review. The state changed to 7.0 as well. This was too close. As we warned last Friday, you can help keep us out of the purple tier. Don't gather, wear a mask, wash your hands, and stay home if you're sick. This is not a good time to push boundaries. We are that close. Yeah, so the underlying message is, uh, gosh, it could have just as easily gone the other way here, Maria. We've been talking about it for the past four or five weeks, and it was, you know, again, that close. The good news is out of this by staying in the red tier, it means the businesses that are currently operating indoors at a limited capacity can stay that way at least for another two weeks. Maria. A relief for them. All right, Jeff McAdam with that story. Well, turning now to today's coronavirus update from the county, 265 new cases have been reported. That's a 3% positive rate of the tests that were taken. Four new deaths were reported, bringing the county's total to 857 people who've died. 234 people are now hospitalized with the virus, including 93 in the ICU. Five new community outbreaks were also reported.